Hi there, Paul here from theengineeringmindset.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to calculate the area of a circle. Uh, I've got two different methods to do this, two different formulas, and they depend on if you know the diameter or the radius. So method one will be, let's just put a one here. Method one, the formula is A area equals pi times the radius squared. And just so you know, pi, I'll write at the bottom here, pi is equal to 3.14. That's the two decimal places because the number just goes on and on and on and on and on. But two decimal places will be fine for this calculation. So let's do a works example, shall we? Let's say that this distance here radius that the distance in from the center point of this circle to the very edge is 10 meters okay so then area a equals 3.14 times 10 meters squared and 3.14 times 10 area equals 314 meters squared and it's meters squared because it's area area in the circle. And we'll just show you that on the calculator. So pi, you can see the there's a longer version of the number there, but it is too long to type. We don't need that. For the precision we're going for just two decimal places of one four will be fine. So three point one four times ten and square it. Don't forget to square it. Ten squared. Let me square the 10 equals 314 meters squared. So the second method, method two, and we use that if we know the diameter. That's this length here. So if you know from the furthest edge, from one edge to the other of the, of the circle if you know that distance there then you know the diameter so let's say that in this example the diameter is 20 meters so formula 2 is start a area equals bracket pi times to change color there diameter squared all of that divided by 4 so a equals 3.14 times 20 meters squared brackets divided by 4 a area equals now 3.14 times 20 squared is 1,256. 
So that divided by four area will equal 314 meters squared. So you get the same result as that one. And we will just check that on the calculator. So 3.0 3.14 pi times 20 squared bracket equals 1256. Divide that by 4, 314 meters squared. There you go. So there you can see there's two methods to calculating the area of a circle, depending on if you know the dimensions of the diameter or the radius. Both will give you the same result, but they'll be using different methods.